Ben Johnson, uh, Brown with Group, um, well, constantly changing group, uh, and Senior Vice President of Creative Innovation. Uh, enthusiasm and a willingness to get on with it. Um, I mean, from a credit point of view, I've never been one for looking for qualifications. Um, yeah, it, it helps open doors, and I'm not saying, don't go to school. Thank you, thank you, education. <laughs> Far from it. Now the point is, um, a portfolio will always lead the way and open, genuinely open doors from that point of view. Um, but what it will then do is, someone has to come in and sell that. So if they think the work does it all for them, it's not good enough. Um, in the same way as the, as the kind of that certificate, that piece of paper that almost says that they're obliged to get the job at the end of the day. But you know, enthusiasm, willingness to learn, yeah, and, and they still got to be good at stuff. Uh, they've got to enjoy what they do. Um, you know, we're, as with most agencies, we tend to push the hours either side of the day. Um, but people do enjoy what they're doing, and it's it's kind of a labour of love. Uh, again, you know, my background is in creative, and if you're not willing to kind of live and breathe it, that doesn't mean you do it all the time. But it's kind of thinking about the the job in hand, and believe me, it's amazing work to work on. Um, so you know, why would you want to shut the door on that at the end of the day? But you know, it doesn't mean they're, they're actually hands on with that all the time. Yeah, I mean, CV is one of those things that you see, it seems so antiquated now. But you know, we still get the word document come through that makes white noise essentially. Everyone looks the same. Everyone's got the same thing, and it becomes a box ticking exercise. You know, what you want to see is all of those social channels. Um, so watch out for the mankini. Um, and what you did on holiday. Um, but you know, those social channels are vitally important because that's where you get the personality across. Um, but also, you know, LinkedIn is just invaluable and it's brilliant. You know, why would you try and maintain the personal CV when there's the one place that's just going to hold all that information? But at the same time, if you're applying for something that needs to be really digitally savvy, then you want to be able to immediately demonstrate something online, some kind of digital handover that, you know, really sells your skills. Well, it used to be on my desk, the way to get noticed was to actually post something physical that I couldn't fit in the bin. Um, and that would always be starters. Um, you know, so we, we've kind of moved out of that now, it's not the same thing. Um, but, you know, be, again, we come back to social channels, it's about being in your face. I, I'm not going to be bothered if someone's stalking me. I have the option to be amused, engaged, and in some way connected to someone, or I can block them. Um, that's pretty much the equivalent of saying yes or no, we're interested in you for a job. Oh, we got, um, well there would be the, I have every right to have this job. Uh, the, particularly, okay, we have a big, bigger office in Windsor than we do any of our other offices. The other one is, well of course you're going to pay me exactly the same as I would be paid in London, or actually you're going to pay me some more because I have to travel out of London. Um, you know, the other thing would be from a design perspective, it would be a case of, right, I have nothing left to learn, um, which is, bizarrely, is still a common mistake. Um, you know, I, I have a whole wealth of things still to learn, you know, how many years I've had to think, how many years they are of experience, um, you know, it's a constant learning process. Uh, yeah, it depends where, what stage they are in that, you know, if they had a plan to start with, um, then if they work their way up the ladder, then it's pretty likely they've, they've got some idea of where they're going. You know, as for those juniors, middleweights even, you know, their plan should be to absorb and get their hands on as much stuff as possible. Um, you know, that plan will in, in, in it to be play out, um, but yeah, okay, just enjoy it. I mean, this comes in different ways. I mean, it used to be that there would be kind of flourish developers and designers, and then the designers had to also get a building flash and create these things that came to life. Now the, the distinction is very different. So, you know, we get things that we build amazing mobile applications. I wouldn't expect any of my designers to be able to build those amazing things, but they would all have to have an understanding of the barriers. But actually, even to that point of knowing where the barriers are, it's where they then push beyond them. Um, so, here we go. Developers have a tendency of wanting to be able to develop to their skills, but you know we always want to be able to push them, and, and that's you know not be beyond the realms of possibility. We're not saying develop teleportation; we're saying really, really kind of push it. So designers, 
it's a bonus if they can do both, but it really is more about that understanding. Source LF are London's leading creative communications and media recruitment agency. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to this channel. Take the moment to watch another of our videos on screen now.